Hello everyone, this is Yusma Tech, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a spot the difference game by the Smart Apps Creator. And since I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to quickly go through all the setup. And if you have any questions, welcome to email us. So first of all, let's make a start page. For now, uh, I'm only going to insert and brand image picture here for my star page. And so I click insert and click image. And then I'm going to apply an animation on it. So I click the picture and then go to animation. So I'm going to uh, adjust the duration here. And I can also go to page tab here and set how long I want the start page to last. I'm going to go to three. Okay then, so now I only want to set this and then Let's start to see how to make us spot the difference game. So I'm going to insert the spot the difference picture here. And in the future, when we are editing the picture and the, the, the whole project, I don't want to uh, move this background by accident. So I'm going to first here on the X and Y we can all set to zero so it is aligned and I will go to layer tab here and then lock this layer so I won't accidentally move it by accident okay so first we need a timer so I will go to the timer and I will choose page timer and I can choose it is displayed so I'm gonna put it here and we need the three points of life I'm going to insert image so we have life now and control C to copy and then paste later we will set interactivity on them but for now, I'm going to uh, insert three uh, hotspots here. The one is the button hotspot. For the area, that is, uh, click the wrong spot. And the first hotspot is the, the button layer. And on the second layer, we are going to uh, insert the correct answer circle so I will go to insert image and there's a circle here adjust the size and copy and paste and move it to the different spot area and then we cover another hotspot for each of them Okay, so basically we have uh, put all the material in. So right now we can preview it. So you can see the uh, correct answer circle show up here. And that, that is uh, not what we wanted to happen, so we can hide it. So let's go back. I will go to, you can directly uh, move away the hotspot and click the circle to adjust. There's a, uh, on this tab, there's a hide object when browsing here, so check it. And, but you can also go to the layer and click the correct answer circle, and then go, go back to property, 
to click it. So let's preview. Okay, now, so later on, I will set that when our user click the hotspot, the correct answer circle will show up and and we will have sound played immediately. So I, so I will insert mp3 file here. So we will have a sound for right answer. And now I'm going to adjust the size of our screen from here. And then put the sound for right answer here outside of the edit table. And again, I will insert the sound for wrong answer. Okay, now so I'm going to choose the hotspot and go to interaction tab and select touch so when our user touch the circle will show up so make sure you choose the right circle and I will go to choose appear it's their behavior and add and also touch sound for right answer and play so now I already apply the circle and the sound for the three hotspot. So let's preview. Okay. Now, now we are going to apply insert the sound for wrong answer for the button hotspot here. So I'm going to click the hotspot and go to interaction and choose touch when we when our user touch this hotspot the sound for wrong answer will play so let's check and so right now we are going to connect the hotspot with our life so each time our user uh, click the wrong area which means the bottom hotspot our life will will be deducted so I'm going to go back to insert and add a counter here so I'll choose page counter and I click the bottom hotspot and then go to interaction when our user touch the counter will increase one digit and submit and let's go back to counter and again in interaction tab when the counter change to one digit her life will hide and add so let's preview And then again, uh, when our counter change to two digit, the second life will hide, and so so on to three digit, the third life will hide, and so we want our user when their life is gone, the game over page will show up so I'm going to insert a game over page here and and again we are going I'm going to hide it at first so go back to the property tab and hide object when browsing and let's go back
So I just uh, hide the game over page here, hide the object when browsing under the property tab. So let's go back to the counter and let's go back to the interactivity tab. And I'm going to set what uh, click the counter and go to in the interaction tab here. Uh, when counter change to three digit, the game over will show up. And then go back to the timer under the property tab. There's a play when browsing and insert insert a, a music you like from the page tab background music and and then let's preview let's go to edit tab here and we have a preview from the top let's see This is use smart tag and hope you have a basic idea of of how to design your app and use this software. If you have any question, please email us. See you next time.